Saturday, March 6th, and uh, here we are. We've got the parts for the pitot mast. Uh, those are all done and ready for mounting. We uh, got this primed up and got the rivet holes drilled. Um, got the got the 90 degree. Got our mount parts primed and ready to go. Uh, we still need to get the place. Uh, the location on the bottom skin finalized, um, so we'll do that and um, start getting that skin prepped and marked up for um, for the the mast hole and then the mounts and rivets for those. So I just wanted to uh, say I think I've said it before is uh, one of the nice things about having social media stuff, uh, having this stuff up on YouTube is there are people that um, have either been here or or know this stuff, uh, have built or are looking at the instructions and caught last time that I've got these bushings on backwards and I said well I'll take a look when I get up to the hangar and yes sure enough uh, we no idea how that happened, but um, we've got the bushings in backwards uh, on this elevator. Those bushings, the flanges on those bushings are supposed to be inside. Um, so yeah, weird. I, you know, we we had done these as a batch, and I don't know, don't know how it happened, but it happened. We got them in backwards, so we're. Uh, this will be a future thing for us. I mean, we would have caught this when we went to mount the elevator on. It would have been pretty obvious that those are in backwards we'd had to fix it at that time but we'll add this on our to-do list to get that done at uh, some point in the future maybe when we get to a stopping point on this other wing we'll maybe address that but yeah i'll have to get that done and uh, a big thank you to uh, those of you that spotted that and let me know appreciate it determining or verifying the position for the pitot tube uh, on the wing and the uh, installation manual for Garmin says that this pitot, uh, the line, straight line of this pitot needs to be within plus or minus five degrees of the cord line of the wing which is from the, the cord line from the leading edge tip to the trailing edge tip. We installed a flap on here so we could get that line. Uh, we're within we're within that parameter plus or minus five degrees. Uh, we are 1.8 degrees difference on the pitot tube versus the cord line on the wing. Also it needs to be installed within the front within 25 percent of the cord length. So the length uh, from the cord length from the leading edge to the trailing edge is 61 inches. So we need to be this tip needs to be within inside. Uh, though I should say the maximum it can be back is 15 inches, which would put that pitot tube like way back here. So I think what do we say we're at 10, nine, nine and a half inches from the tip to the leading edge. Uh, of the of the wing, so we're within 25% accord there. So we're getting the position kind of finalized here. Um, one thing I did was uh, we're checking for rivet placement on this plate, and we're going to try to split the difference between the rib skin rivets and the rivets in this mount plate. So we're just inside of those um, so we're good there and the rivets on this face are, are in the same spot so we can use these top rivet holes to, to line this up so the next thing we're going to do is we'll take a piece of stock uh, probably our stock 20 or 32,000 skin uh, aluminum plate we'll lay it up here um, get this plate aligned vertically this way to make sure that it's flush against the skin um, will mark the holes in the rib and we'll get that aligned we'll mark those holes, we'll drill them, we'll Clico this in 
and then we'll lay the skin on top and mark that out for mounting. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So how are we going to get this bracket lined up to be in the proper spot under here? Well, what I came up with was we've got our, I've got a piece of sheet aluminum here and I've laid it across these ribs. Use my mirror to mark mark two uh, two of the two of the rivet holes for the ribs right there and right there. And then what we'll do is we'll drill drill those two holes. We'll clico this sheet on right here, and we'll align we'll line up this mount plate where we want this on the rib. We'll mark the holes in the bottom of the sheet there. Drill two holes, clico this up to the bottom, and we'll verify that that's, that's where this is going to go. One last verification. Then with this clico in place, we'll mark the rib. We'll mark the rib under there where, for those rivet holes, and we'll drill those rivet holes out, uh, and then we can, then we can clico this in place. Uh, when we go to do the skin, then we'll be able to lay the skin on top of this with this bracket clicoed in, and um, then we can reach in through the inspection hole and mark mark the rivet holes on the skin and get those prepped uh, and get those drilled out, and then we can click when we put the skin on, we can clico everything together. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to see how that works out. Okay, we've got our, uh, we've got this clicoed in, this uh, sheet clicoed into the two holes on the rib. And now we've got the pedo bracket uh, clamped in, as you can see. And if I look underneath, using this mirror, you can see where the, well, you can see where the clico is for the rib. And then where the hole lines up for the, um, the where the ribs, the mount bracket rivet will go through the rib. So those don't, I just wanted to have those offset a little bit so we've got those evenly spaced out there. And in this position, this gives us our, um, it meets our spec for the tip distance to the leading edge and also the tip being within 25% of the cord length. Um, and also keeps the tip within plus minus five degrees of the cord line. So I think this is where we're gonna I think this is where we're gonna put it the mount plate um, There's gonna be just for reference uh, The inspection cover I guess the access cover is right here where the original Rand's pedo system will go and this is where we're going to mount temperature probe uh, for the outside air temperature and then we'll have pedo just uh, off the side of that. So we're pretty close to where the original original pedo is here and we're just back what about eight inches, eight ten inches back and um, inboard. Okay so why we do test fittings and things. Um, Originally, we were going to, what, what I just showed you where we were mounting this, thinking about mounting it was right there. Um, thinking of moving it forward so that the center of the mast is in line with that vertical of the rib. I think that gives it a little more strength in there. So here's what we're doing is we're laying all this out on the skin, got trim ring, mount plate, pedo, and rib laid out here so that we can check to make sure that there's clearance uh, for everything. And I think that looks pretty good. We've got clearance between the trim ring and the mount plate. Um, that puts the center of the mast uh, in line with that rib. And I don't know, anything else? Oh, it's still, in the right. it's still within parameter for uh, the, leading the leading edge, so the tip of the pedo is not supposed to exceed two inches beyond 
the leading edge of the wing. So that's well within that, what, like mm -hmm. by five, five and a half inches or something like that inside the leading edge. So that's good there. So a little bit of a change of plans here as we kind of get to looking at things and we'll, we'll uh, kind of, well, I guess we'll fit it up and mark it on over on the wing itself. So we were inside working and uh, with doors shut and heat on and we went to uh, step outside for a, a minute and realized that it has warmed up significantly. So this is the first day in, when's the last time we had the door open? Was it November? Maybe November. So about four, three and a half, four months, we finally get to have a day with the door, front door open. Um, so yeah, taking advantage of some nice weather today and uh, we got the door open yay but uh, the downside not the downside the the effect of that is we've already had three three visitors into the four visitors into the hangar to come see what we're doing <laughs> so uh, but I don't mind that at all I love talking about the airplane got our holes marked out for our mounting plate and I've got that got it so that it's just offset a little bit from where these rib rivets are right there. So I've double checked everything. It's uh, within spec as far as being from the leading edge. Uh, the angle difference from the cord line is good. And um, I think that's it. Is that it? Just the distance from the leading edge and the cord. Oh, and then the being within the 25% of the, of the cord of the wing. Just let you know, show you what we're doing here. I've got, we got our plate. Um, we marked out the holes underneath. Uh, we got everything lined up and we marked those holes, drilled those, uh, final sized them out to number 30. We've got this plate clicoed in. Then we brought the skin over and we laid the skin on top of that, made sure everything lined up. And then from underneath marked marked the four corner holes of that mount plate, marked those, and then we took the skin off and then drilled these, uh, and final sized them up to a number 30. And we brought the skin back over. Uh, first I, I brought the plate back over, clecoed that back in, brought the skin over, laid it in, clecoed this rib, and verified that we're we're aligned on all four corners, so that's good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the skin off, back over to uh, where the skins are. We'll flip it over, then I'll clico that mount onto the skin and then we'll final size the rest of the holes in there, uh, prep for riveting. We've got our plate on here, clay coat in, ready to go. I'm gonna go three eighths uh, on these rivet holes and we'll final them up to a number 30.
So I've got all these little holes drilled out here, and now I just gotta, we're just gonna snip this out, and then I'll hand file this out to final size uh, for that pedo mast. Well, I forgot to start the recorder for this, uh, but we uh, drilled drilled all those little holes around there, and I just used a oh, little wire snipper and a file to to get that cleaned out in the middle. Now I'm just hand filing that out uh, to so that'll it fit that mast. Done for the day up here, and uh, we got our uh, pedo mount uh, drilled out for uh, in the skin. Also got the uh, got the the hole for the mast uh, all cut out and uh, filed smooth. Uh, so we got that good there, and. We got this prepped on the wing. We've got our rivet holes ready to go. Those are final sized, uh, cleaned up. We've got that primed on there. We've got our mount ready to go here. Uh, that's all done. So our next step is um, we do have to, I, I think I'm gonna replace that, the wire for the landing lights. I'm gonna get the right, the right one. So we'll have to pull the, pull the wiring out uh, from here for the landing light and uh, we'll replace that. I've got uh, outside air temperature probe wire uh, that will lay in here. That'll go back and then out uh, the root of the wing. We'll get that done. Uh, but I have to order that wire for the landing lights. So I'm gonna, that's a kind of a do-over on that one. So get that ordered, uh, which means probably won't be up here tomorrow. Not sure the next time we'll be up here, but that's on our list. When we get back up here is uh, fix that wiring. We also did the priming on the um, inspection cover trim rings. So we've got all our inspection cover trim rings primed and ready to go uh, when we put the skin on the bottom. And um, I think that's about it. What else did we do today? Had lots of visitors today. We had a lot of visitors today. We had one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. seven. Yeah, seven visitors today. Um, so it was, uh, we got to got to show show the airplane, but. Um, yeah, so, yeah, not sure when we're going to be back up, but um, we've got a laundry list of things to keep going on once we get back up here. So I appreciate the views, and um, if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and um, have a good morning, day, evening, whatever the case may be. Uh, thanks for watching. That's it for now.